hey guys welcome back to my channel in a slightly new little setup i've been diligently <laughs> trying to master my camera because i've been doing content for way too long not to know what i'm doing by now so i've spent the last week just um testing out different settings different cameras i swear i'm smart but when it comes to this camera stuff all that goes out of the window Get ready with me while I chat about a few things that's been on my mind. First is why I'm not as inspired by fashion anymore. So I already primed the face. I used the Milk Hydro Grip. I'm so late, finally got a chance to try it. And it's so weird to be doing my makeup in the dark, even though it looks bright. I have literally every light off and just one ring light that's like two feet away. But learning about camera settings, lighting, it's so interesting, but it can be a little overwhelming. So when I finally get this down pack, I'm gonna do a video on lighting cameras for beginners because y'all, I've watched hundreds of videos and it just doesn't make sense if you're not knowledgeable at all in cameras, like it can be a lot. <laughs> I thought I could just buy a camera, turn it on and just go, but that's not the case. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my yummy skin tint from Danessa Myricks. I am in the shade 14 absolutely love this product i've been using it non-stop since i got it last year and if you've been following me you know i love my makeup forever but ever since i've been using this skin tint i have not been able to put it down i'm so glad that it's finally getting the hype that it deserves because it is that good sprayed my face with a little bit of milk hydro grip set spray i actually really like this and i'm glad they sent it in pr because i probably wouldn't have picked this up but i will definitely be repurchasing this So I have not been really inspired in fashion lately for one main reason. I feel like everyone is a carbon copy and that's no shade, I swear to anyone, but it just feels like since social media, there's just not a lot of individuality anymore. Everyone wants to look the exact same and I don't understand why. I do understand that we all get inspired by each other and when you see something cute, you want it, but do we all have to get the same bag, the same shoes, in the same color? Like, can we not switch it up a little bit? I know I can't be the only person that feels this way, but when I'm scrolling on social media, I literally see the same outfit of the days, the same exact items on everyone. Like, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of that Danessa Blurring Balm Powder in the shade 10 to warm up the face. As you can see, I've been loving this because your girl is hitting pan, but this is so good. I really love how this warms up the face and I love that you don't really have to set this because these de definitely dry down matte. Most days I'll do this with a little bit of concealer and a little powder and I'm out the door. So I'm gonna also go in with her blush in Golden Hour. I'm trying something a little different. I usually do blush after, but I've been seeing the girls do the blush first and then the concealer for a better blend. And you don't need a whole lot of this. It's very pigmented. Fashion to me is all about self-expression and making trends your own. And the fact that people don't even try anymore. Like I feel like the essence of fashion when everyone had their own individual style has just faded. Like I do miss the days when I would scroll and everyone looked different. Like everyone had their personal style and you're able to get inspired by that person but still make it your own. Like now when I scroll, people have on the same top, the same <laughs> jeans, the same shoes, the same bag, the same jewelry. Like I love a good Van Cleef bracelet, but do we all need it? <laughs> like I feel like too, when you pay that much, don't you wanna look a little different? Like for me, if I'm paying 4,000 on a bracelet, it needs to be unique, be exclusive, not a lot of people have it. And I feel like social media is to blame because I feel like the moment we see one person with this item, everyone runs out to get the exact same item. Like you didn't want another color. So yeah, that, that's my thoughts with that. I'm all for people doing what they wanna do and I'm no fashion critic. I'm not the best dressed person out there, but just an observation. So not too much on me in the comments. <laughs> so that's the base. I'm gonna set with the Sephora Micro Smooth Powders. I hear these are being discontinued. I hope not because I'm just getting into them. Like I 
feel like I've been under a rock these last few years because a lot of the stuff that I'm trying now, people try years ago. And I really hope this eats in the end because I'm in the dark, like I cannot see. So I'm gonna go in all over the face with Sienna. I just love these powders because they just blend everything so seamlessly and they're really lightweight. So I'm gonna contour with my girl Destiny Godley's Contour Palettes. I'm not sure if she still sells makeup, but I'm so glad I was able to snag these when she was. So I'm just gonna mix these two shades here. I definitely like the whole blush before the highlight. I feel like it definitely blends a lot better. And just to kind of make the blush pop just a little bit more, I'm gonna go in with her blush palette and mix these two orange shades here. And you definitely don't need a lot. <laughs> like these are super pigmented as well. Like it's way too many designers out here for all of us to be wearing a Birkin. Like, do we all love the bag or are we getting it because we see everyone else with it? Like it's okay to wear something different. It's okay to think outside the box. Like it's giving, we're all going to the same store and we want what's on the mannequin head to toe. Y'all get what I'm saying? That's what it's giving. And I guess you could kind of say the same thing for makeup. We run out and we get these products and most times what works for someone else is not gonna work for you. So then we end up with all of this stuff and the over consumerism is just, it's a lot. I got rid of so much makeup, so many items that I bought just because it went viral and or because this person was talking about it. And it becomes to be too much. I wear what I like and what works for me. So I've been on this lip combo for the last like two weeks and I absolutely love it. Is it just me or do you guys still wear lipstick? I only grab for glosses now, that's crazy. So for lip liner, I've been obsessed with the Sephora gel liner in molasses, but this is always sold out. So if you can't get your hands on this, Go ahead and get the OG MAC Chestnut Liner. I'm gonna use the NYX Butter Glosses. I'm not sure why I stopped using these. These have just been my favorite for years. Not sure why I ventured off. I guess, like I said, we get into wanting to try this, try that, but these have always worked and they're really good. And the shade range is just like unmatched. So I'm gonna go in with Ginger Snap and I'm gonna actually line the lips with Ginger Snap. And this combo eats because it literally gives you that ombre lip without having to do any blending. We're gonna go in the middle with Madeline. This combo is just, if you try it, report back, I think you're gonna love it. If you want me to do more topics like this, let me know. Oh, no, I don't know because I don't like arguing in the comments. Like it's very peaceful over here, very zen. But you know, like I said, I do want to do more chit chatty videos on my channel. So let me know down below. I had fun chatting with you guys today. Actually, no, let's get dressed. All right, so here is my outfit of the day. Super, you know, cute and simple. Top is Zara. Um, pants are old H&M. It's funny because I remember when these used to fit kind of loose and now <laughs> your girl been in the gym. You guys can't see the shoes, but I just have on these cute little Zara gold flats. Love these. So I have my old trusty Louis Vuitton wallet on a chain. I bust this out every summer. It's the perfect nude bag. I had someone tell me like, girl, you need to give that bag a rest get another bag no <laughs> if I like it I'm gonna wear it and the purpose of adding quality pieces in your wardrobe is to wear them for years to come jewelry is very simple I have on these little double uh, mini hoops from Amazon I love that these are gold and silver because I love mixing metals my necklace that I rarely take off. This is a J initial from Alex and Annie. Stack right here, the watch is from Movado. Y'all know I love a good Movado watch. And then the bracelets are just from different places. So any links that I can find or similar will be linked down below. If you guys wanna see more content like this, be sure to let me know and I will catch you guys in the next one.